Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to do tabletop taps. So this is a really great core exercise to help connect to your lower abdominals, especially if you are wanting to connect to your lower abs, connect to your core, and a really great option, again, if you are trying to rehab your core, if you have an ab separation or diastasis recti. This can be done throughout your pregnancy and also early postpartum. And the key to this is making sure that you're recruiting your lower abdominals first and not letting your upper abs or your obliques kind of dominate the action. So you don't need a yoga block for the first part, but I'm going to show you two different variations to do the tabletop taps, one with a yoga block and one without. So we're going to have you lay on your back. And you are going to put, bring up your legs into a tabletop position. Now, what you want to make sure is that you aren't arching the back, so you don't want to have a ton of space. But again, you don't want to be overall flattening your back so you have no space. You want to make sure that you have a slight arch in your back. Think about a five degree arch, but making sure your ribs and your pelvis are stacked. So we're just going to first start off by activating your lower abs by coordinating it with some breathing. So I'm going to have you inhale into your ribs and your belly. And then you're going to exhale, pull the lower abs in middle and upper like a zipper. So I'm going to do a few rounds. Really take note of how I inhale into my entire rib cage and lower abs. And then when I exhale, I keep my ribs out as I pull lower abs in first, then middle, then upper. So we're just going to start with connecting your core in this position. We'll have you inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now what we're going to do for the tapping is we're going to start with some alternating taps. You're going to inhale, exhale, tap, exhale, zip up, but you slowly lower, and then inhale, come back up. So what you're doing is you're inhaling, expanding, exhale, engage at least the lower abs, and then continue to exhale as you lower your leg towards the ground, only lowering as much as you can without arching or losing control of your abs. So we'll have you inhale, exhale, pull your lower abs in, inhale, come back up, exhale, switch, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now if you want to make that harder, you can do both of your legs. So we'll have you inhale, exhale, pull your lower abs in first. Continue to exhale as you lower both of your legs down. And I'm only going halfway because I start to lose control. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Great. If you want to make this harder, you can add a yoga block. So you're going to place the yoga block underneath your pelvis. You're going to have your legs up. Now your legs actually have to travel a further distance, but it makes it harder because you have to have the body awareness to make sure that you don't completely lose control of your back. So this is a lot harder for me. So we're just going to do a few rounds. We'll have you inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Do a few more. Great. So those are how you would do the table tap march exercise. So I actually lied and I did three different variations. So we did the alternating toe taps, we did the double leg toe taps, and then we did double leg with the yoga block underneath your pelvis. So give that a try and tell me how that feels. Again, this is something actually that's more on the simpler side of a core exercise, but also can be very challenging. So if this is a little bit hard for you, then you may want to um, just stick with just practicing breathing, activating your core in that tabletop position like we first started, and then not doing the leg movement. So whenever you add leg movements, it just challenges your core a lot more. So give that a try. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below.